I read somewhere yesterday that uh, Americans throw out uh, about 20 million books a year. So they're pretty uh, available. My name is uh, Deofilo Olivieri and I'm an artist. I'm using uh, book covers as a canvas. It's, uh, it's a finer kind of uh, uh, canvas. So it's just perfect for me as an artist to explore something that was discarded that I could use and then play with. I have the opportunity to explore different textures and typography and composition. Every book is unique. I get different results and just a, a different experience with each book. And I could never do the same book twice. And I, I, I usually like to, to uh, not use bright colors. I'm gonna create a silhouette of a horse today on this book. Now, I'm not that good where I can just create a horse out of my mind, but I do look at a silhouette of a horse. I got my trusty smartphone where I can uh, find that horse, and there he is. Now I'll just sort of uh, visualize the composition of the, the phone to the composition of the book. And then that's where the art comes in. It's uh, wherever I'm inaccurate, I think it's, uh, it's a plus on the final <laughs> of the piece. To be out here painting and displaying my work, it cuts off the isolation of being at home on the computer. Or, it's just a lot of fun. It's healthier too. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm getting some vitamin D, and I'm interacting with people, uh, making contacts, and I love New York City. I think it's done. It's it's cool. The um, the type here on the spine sort of becomes the saddle of the horse. I've always done art all my life, so it's just been a. I guess I'm self-taught because I see most of it as contained chaos. And some of these book covers are, are very old, like the older the canvas, it's got so, a lot of like, uh, each canvas has uh, just a different feel to it and things that it, it has experienced. You know, it, it was in different hands. So I, I just try to splash the paint on it as uh, randomly as possible. When I put the, uh, the animal on it, I, that's what I try to do. I try to uh, just peek into like what was existing uh, before that, you know, before I, I, I put my hands on it. So I just want the, some of the canvas just to peek out just enough so that you can tell it was a book cover at some point. I, I'm painting what the public more or less wants. And, and I was sort of directed with the animals by the public. I, I painted a few and and you know my goal also is to put money in my bank account so um, they started selling and and then I got a lot more requests for different types of animals and unusual animals. Pigeons are are number one and after the pigeon I would say the bull. I, 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 I've painted so many bulls and then I've got pigs. Pigs are a big seller so are uh, the lions and the longhorn bull Rabbits, elephants are really up there too. I would say all of them, they all sell. It, the uh, possibilities have become sort of uh, endless for me. Um, I, I also want, I'm gonna start exploring uh, print, print work. I, I wanna blow some of these up uh, into large scales and, and see what, what kind of a result I get. It's just endless. I'm in a good place in my life.